All right, so here we go, guys. Apple has officially released the third beta for iOS 26.1. Today, releasing iOS 26.1 developer beta 3 to register developers. And as per usual, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this become available to you. I would like to say within the next 24 to 48 hours at the latest. Now, this third beta comes in one week after beta 2 which means apple has now switched to a weekly release schedule which means the software could become available shortly to the general public now the download was a little over 12 gigs from beta 2 to beta 3 on this iphone 17 pro max that i've been testing here and this is a large file we'll talk about everything that's new within this latest beta i want to jump into settings head on over into general about and ios version there's the latest build number for ios 26.1 developer beta 3 you see there ends on the letter e which means we can anticipate at least two more betas the gold master or release candidate here shortly now keep in mind that apple also released ipad os mac os watch os tv os home software update and vision os 26.1 beta 3 all available as of today now i have to say some unexpected new features and changes were added to this third beta so let's go ahead and dive right in so the first thing i want to talk about is a new icon for apple tv you see right there we have the brand new apple tv icon and that is because today apple announced that apple tv plus will be rebranded to just apple tv so i have the previous beta here take a look at the apple tv icon you see there the one on the latest beta has a little bit of color to it so yeah due to the rebrand with iOS 26.1, Apple has added a new Apple TV icon. So Apple TV Plus will now be referred to just Apple TV. So that is one of the minor changes happening here physically on the home screen. Now, within the code of iOS 26.1, it was found that Apple could soon be adding third-party AI. And this could be coming soon as Apple changed the thread from ChatGPT to third-party AI. So keep in mind that Apple was planning to add Google Gemini and others to Apple Intelligent. It hasn't happened yet, but it looks like we're getting close to that. Apple could soon be adding more extensions for Apple Intelligence and more. As you can see right here, we have ChatGPT. We could see perhaps again Google Gemini and others being added soon, perhaps with future betas. I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, strength within iOS code show that Apple is preparing to add more of these third-party AI assistants. Now, one thing that I also wanted to talk about, which I found somewhat interesting, with the previous beta, Apple added a new feature under privacy. So let's head on over into the privacy section here, and let's head on over to the new feature, which is this one right here, the background security improvements. This is a new feature that allows your iPhone to update the security without having to update your device. So Apple looks to be already adding security to this beta, as you can see right here. But what I find interesting is that you can tap here and you can actually remove the security files that were downloaded and restart your device. Now, I'm not sure where Apple will give users control over that. I guess that's a good thing. It's an option. Now, another unexpected change that Apple has added to iOS 26.1 with the third beta is the ability to locally record video and audio calls on your device this is a little bit different from phone call recording so let me show you we have the new option here under settings we go to general and then we go into local capture so if you enable this option right here you see right here we have the ability to send those local captures to download or enable audio only so this works for phone calls and also facetime video and audio calls and i've already tested this so this is what the ui looks like right here so when you're on a facetime call or a regular phone call you can capture that audio it will save it to the download Loads in your files app and you can use that audio later for I guess easier access to edit and if you're on a video FaceTime call it would actually record the video and you can also use that to be edited later you see here this is the UI and we have a new control center option available for it right there it is local capture again you can capture audio and video while you're on a FaceTime call or a FaceTime video or audio or just a regular phone call right there that's what the UI looks like here in the control center you can enable it you see right there we also have the dynamic island there showing us the new feature capture features you can see right there the local capture feature is ready so when you initiate that phone call you'll be able to access that file directly within the files application on your iPhone and you'll be able to use that file later to edit whatever a video or whatever it is that you're doing on your device which is pretty cool local capture another form of video and audio recording for your phone calls on your device which again I find to be interesting to be coming to iOS especially with 26.1 here 
here in the near future. Now, if I continue to find any additional new features and changes after using this beta, obviously, as per usual, within the next couple of days, I'll follow up with another video showing you anything else that I find. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this information helpful. I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.